bench is huge. Gigantic, huh? What are you most proud of in this kitchen? Oh, for me, it's the layout, it's the functionality, it's uh, user friendly, it's it just it's it's clean, it's sleek, it's yeah. minimalist, it's just beautiful for yeah. me. And for me, it's the amount of storage. Storage wise, design wise, and finishes in here, I think, are really fantastic. We have obviously a, a, the biggest butler pantry on the block, but in our kitchen itself, we also have huge a, a huge amount of cupboards. So if you could fill them, you're doing pretty well. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. you have a lot of yeah. stuff you need to cut down. Yeah. The cabinetry is beautiful and there's two feature colours there, the Alaskan Gloss Royal Oyster and also the Flair Deep Sea. The Deep Sea, as soon as it was shown to us, was just instant, instantaneous, we were just on board. The blues, the beautiful teals, the aquas, that's our colour. Um, and then obviously with the oyster, it was just amazing, yeah, yeah. just all come together. One of my favourite looks of timber at the moment, having those beautiful black grains through it. This yes. bench top is absolutely beautiful. Mm. This stone is luxury and that is luxury. Well, the Caesar stone bench top uh, in, in the Alpine Mist was obviously something that we had really liked and we've used uh, something similar in our own house. Mm. Um, we had another Caesar stone bench top that actually came off that, which was going to um, accentuate the view to the city. but. Just didn't work with the dining room, the, the location of the dining room table, so we ended up going with a, uh, a timber uh, breakfast bar as such. It turned out, yeah, amazing. Siemens, as soon as we had won that brand, we were super stoked. The black, it's sleek, it's clean, it's with the four ovens, we have the coffee machine, we have the warming trays. I really feel as if with the configuration that we can really set off those appliances and the Siemens for us was the perfect yeah. brand. And we wanted uh, integrated, so the majority yeah. of the Siemens products were integrated so we could hide our dishwasher, our fridges. We've got double fridge, double freezer, so it's all hidden. So. Yeah. Which is perfect for kids as well. I'm Kim, nice Hi to Kim, meet you. nice meeting you. Chris. Hello Chris, Jack. Jack, how are you going? going? And of course the design begins with Freedom Kitchens. What was it like walking in there and coming up with the design initially? Oh, it was so daunting for us. We wanted to tap into the Art Deco style, but obviously not go extravagant. So um, we had to turn it back a little. So we kept with the clean palette. Oh, obviously no handles at the top or push. Yeah, we love our kitchen. I don't know how to fault it, to be honest. Yeah, I think being probably the couple with the young children on the block, it, it helped with the functionality stuff. So, so we decided that the butler's pantry had to be a lot larger. Um, so you could hide those items. We've got, you know, bench space on either side. So if you're actually cooking here, um, you can kind of spread out, which I love. It swings both ways. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Wow, this Gigantic. is huge because this is like a studio apartment. Yeah. And of course we have to mention the Bluetooth sound system. We love anything uh, technology wise, so we decided to get a Bluetooth speaker that's actually built uh, within the cupboards above the stove. So you can actually Bluetooth to that and the speaker is amazing. And finally, what's your top tip for interiors attic readers when it comes to designing a high-end kitchen? Ooh, good question. For me, it's functionality. Uh, trends will come and go, but for us, with kids, functionality will always be there. Yeah, for me, it's probably storage. Uh, you can never have too much storage in a kitchen. Yeah.